Hello everyone, welcome back. Today's host is Tech Enthusiast and today guys I found a really great tool which is called Retrobar actually. Retrobar is actually a tool that replaces default Windows taskbar with classic layout. It also has native notification area, native task list with UWP app support, start button opens modern start menu, ability to show or hide the clock, team support and also has several teams included. It's made by Sam Johnson and Joe on GitHub. And this tool actually replaces the current taskbar. Maybe you are using uh, Windows 7, maybe 8, maybe even 10. And as you can see right now, I'm currently running Windows 11 and it replaces the default Windows uh, taskbar with uh, Windows XP one. So let's go straight to the releases right here. And as you can see, Retrobar is currently uh, in version 1.3. And if you go right here to the down, right here to the assets and click here to the download uh, to retrobar.zip file, I already downloaded that and also extracted uh, the downloaded file. And we have Retrobar folder right here, which is extracted one. And we have the exit file right here. So for my personal liking, I would like to cut this file and put it to the local disk C folder to actually use this program. So a folder and I will create Twix folder and put this extracted retrobar uh, exe file right here, paste it right here. And I will launch the program right now. And as you can see, you have the protect, protected computer uh, warning. Actually, Microsoft Defender smart screen uh, prevented uh, an uncategorized app from starting. So uh, if you click on the more information, uh, you will have the option to run anyway. And as you can see, the program actually needs a net core to work. So if I will click right here, yes, to download it now, uh, it should open the, their web, web page to download the net core 3.1. And I will choose the run, run desktop apps to actually work with this app. So download a uh, uh, 64 bit version of the net core. Right now I will install the netcore uh, on the system so the um, retro bar will actually work. So right now I will close the Microsoft Edge and the uh, uh, desktop runtime uh, it should complete installate installing. And when that is done I will just uh, simply reopen the retro bar again. And as you can see the retro bar is currently running but it looks a bit weird as you can see. Uh, it doesn't look right if I click on the left on the start menu and the the centered uh, start uh, start button uh, pops up. So to fix that we will go to the settings uh, of the Windows 11, uh, go to the personalization, uh, go to the uh, go to the taskbar and go to the taskbar behaviors and this taskbar alignment you need to set it to the left and the automatically hide the taskbar will enable itself when you launch the retro uh, taskbar. So as you can see, if I click the start right now, it looks uh, very, very nice. Right now I will show you uh, uh, some other things of the retro bar. So if I go to the uh, properties right here, you have the retro bar properties. For example, uh, you can set it to automatically start at logon. So when you start the Windows computer, uh, it will automatically start with the Windows and you won't actually see the Windows 11 uh, taskbar anymore. You also have uh, all of uh, some teams, for example, you have the system team, it looks uh, a bit white, uh, watercolor, uh, it's watercolor, watercolor, uh, Windows 2000, uh, Windows 95 to 98, uh, Windows ME or ME, XP, XP Blue, I think this one looks the best, and XP Classic. Um, for my liking, I will put it to the XP Blue. And as you can see, we, we have a lot more options right here. For example, allow uh, font smoothing. Uh, it will smooth a bit fonts on the start. For, as you can see, it looks a bit jagged right here on the left at the start. And if I enable this, it looks um, smooth. So collapse notification area icons, you have the notifications right here. If I check this option right here, you have uh, the this arrow right here to collapse or not to collapse notification area. So you have also enabled show the clock. 
as you can see, show the clock, it works, and show quick launch. So quick launch is the, these icons right here on the bottom left with the start, for example, right here. And uh, it uses the pinned apps, but you can also select uh, a different location for that. So right now, if you I select right here the file explorer, it should pop up and as you can see, it looks very, very nice. Also, the animations work very, very nice. So for example, if I click on, on the left here on the windows, you have the calendar, but right now it actually doesn't work anymore. Uh, because if I double left click on the, this uh, clock right here, uh, it opens up the date and time settings. So another great tool that works very well with this program is called Open Shell, which will actually replace our current Windows 11 uh, start menu with the Windows XP one. So right now, if I go to the releases and I will just download the periodic update, I know this is the beta, but you can also use the latest one. So open the shell setup right here. I will download this uh, file and install it on the this computer right now. So open shell, if I launch it right here, as you can see, we have the replace start button. You can change the start button look, for example, but you can also change the styles for the start menu. For example, you have the classic style. Uh, if I open up the classic star, it looks like that. And uh, if I have the classic two with two columns, it looks like that. And if I have F, uh, Windows 7 style, it looks like that. So for example, I will put it to the to the classic style. Uh, it looks very, very nice right now. Uh, and of course, you have some basic settings, skin, and also taskbar settings right here. So to complete uh, this Windows XP look on your Windows 11, um, maybe you can try downloading uh, uh, official or let's say uh, uh, Windows uh, XP wallpaper. So if I download the wallpaper right now, Save it, uh, open it, open it, and set it as background. As you can see, it looks very, very nice. And on the first look, you even won't notice that it's actually running on the Windows 11. But uh, I think it looks really, really nice, and it's uh, very, very nicely imitating the Windows XP on the Windows 11. So I think that's been it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, maybe consider subscribing. Like this video and comment down below if you actually tried Retro Taskbar and Open Shell. So with that being said, thank you again for watching this video um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.